this headlight is pretty expensive to replace and uh, you don't want a rock flying up and breaking that because then you've got to replace the whole thing um, from what I understand it's a, it's a sealed unit so what a lot of people do with adventure bikes is they put some kind of a, a protection in front of it it could be a mesh it could be a piece of plexiglass or whatever I decided to initially invest in a cheap uh, plexiglass uh, uh, option and this is what it is got it off of aliexpress uh, so this is chineseium product comes in a little brown ba a box you open it up and this is it piece of plastic it's got two uh two sides to it not unlike uh spectacles eyeglasses um i'm gonna take these out and show you what's inside this is the entirety of the kit so you've got your plexiglass there you've got your two side brackets and you've got some hardware two of these uh larger screws here um most likely they're going to be for here uh four little uh screws and nuts uh i believe that they would be for these side holes here and then these spacers for the side where this mounts to the bike now the only thing is these brackets here are not uh shaped um symmetrically about any kind of a center line here so you can either put it this way or you can put it this way depending on the fitment on the bike so hopefully it'll become evident when i go to the bike i loose loosely fitted these uh, brackets on um not engaging the nylon part of these nylon nuts uh so they're all loosely fit on there and then i'm going to hold this in place and try and visualize where uh, those brackets are supposed to end up and see if they're oriented in the right way whether uh, the slope of these brackets should be on the bottom or the slope should be on the top i guess you could they're they're rotating their pin connection so you could rotate them down or up but um, there must be a reason why they're shaped like that but I think that this is the way to go. So I'm gonna unscrew these, these side uh, screws here and loosely fit it on. Now, one of the con concerns I've got is that the lower part of the windshield uh, might interfere with it. So there it is, loose fit on the, uh, on the bike. There's no interference with the windshield in this location. Uh, it's still got a protective film on the front. It looks actually pretty dorky, but hey, I'd rather have that there than bust my light. Um, this is not tightened down. I'll put some Loctite on that and uh, tighten it down. I'll tighten these. These are, these are lock nuts, so no Loctite needed. And there's the finished product with the protective shield peeled off. Head on to make sure that it's put on square. Looks pretty damn dorky, but like i said it's there for protection the good thing is there's good clearance here between the bottom of the windshield in its lower position and that and also there is some access behind here uh, for cleaning so you know bugs will still get past this shield and onto the onto the headlight so uh with with some small rag or something you should be able to get be behind there and clean up the the, the glass but the good thing about this type of uh, protector is that unlike the mesh it doesn't cut down on the uh, the amount of light coming out um, with some of those heavy mesh mesh protectors uh it'll reduce the, the amount of light coming out but uh, this obviously isn't going to be as strong but i'm hoping that it'll you know initial take the initial impact and then by the time that the rock continues on and hits the glass it'll uh, have lost most of its energy and uh, shouldn't damage the glass too much. This for the type of writing I'm gonna be doing.